Hello, my children. I'm back. And in this episode of the podcast, episode 84, I'm going to talk about plates, digs, and records. So uh, let's get into it. Oh, my. Hello, hello, hello. Everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Luke Who's Talking podcast. I hope you're going all right out there. Uh, no video uh, today for the video watcher because I can't be uh, just can't be bothered. So yeah, uh, so there you go. I mean, when you start paying, you can you can complain about that. Freeloaders. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into the uh, first story for you. Now, the other week. So I think it was, it was odd, it was, uh, I mean, it was unusual, that's for sure. Um, I was just sitting here on, on my chair and I was consuming, I don't know what it was, something, uh, some sort of nourishment, right? And I uh, had said nourishment on a plate. So what I was doing, you know, sometimes you might be sitting down on a chair, whatever, and uh, you're, you're eating, so you might have the plate, like the edge of it up against you your person, your chest, so you, you know, you don't want to make a mess, do you? Uh, so I was, I was in this sort of plate position, and it, the, the plate, it, um, it just, it just broke in half, uh, I'm not really sure why, I don't think I flicked it, I mean, the plate was, it was an old plate, right, but it just, it just broke in half, uh, so I was like, oh, okay, the plate has broken in half, and I'm yawning. Now what do I do? I, I don't know. So it was a bizarre, um, yeah, that was a bizarre situation, for sure. The plate breaking in half for not really any apparent uh, reason. Like, have you have you ever been, um, oh, God, I need a cough. Or do I? I don't know. I need to do something. Wow, my voice is gone. Give me a second. Wowza. So, um... Yeah, I mean, I was, I was just sitting, minding my own business, uh, on the chair, and the plate, like, split uh, in half. And I thought, right, uh, what's going on with that? It was very bizarre. I didn't, I don't think I did. Did I flick it or anything like that? I don't think I did. It just, it just, yeah, it fell in half. I was like, okay, there you go. That's all I've got for you. That's about it. See, look, you haven't had an episode for a few weeks, and I, I open up with, so I was holding a plate, and it broke in half. It's not that exciting, is it? Anyway, but have you ever been, like, holding a plate or glass, something that is just sort of broken, um, whilst you've been handling it? It was odd, that's for sure. Anyway, <laughs> let's get on to the next, uh, next story, which is probably going to be vaguely slightly more interesting. So uh, one of the reasons why I haven't had an episode out for uh, a couple of weeks or so is because I've been uh, assisting, yeah, assisting on a archaeology dig, yeah, and I would describe it as unexcitingly interesting, if that makes sense, right? I mean, basically, we were digging 50 by 50 centimetre square holes um, and we'll base every 10 meters and we're just digging down sort of until we hit rock uh, or clay so as far as we could which luckily actually wasn't that deep uh, at least in the location where we were digging and yeah I mean why am I going wow and we were looking for uh, stone artifacts that was sort of the main, the main thing to be looking at, stone artifacts. But, um, yeah, there you go. Now I'm like, oh, this is going to be exciting. I've pretty much just said. Um, yeah, so it was, it, was, it was interesting. I mean, I've not been on a dig. Look, I mean, you dig a hole, you go through dirt, you might find something, you might not. You fill the hole back in, you move on. That's about it. That's, that's as exciting as it gets. Um, but it was... Um, Look, the location where we were digging was, it was a good location, we outside, got rained on a couple of times, but that's okay, um, but yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it was interesting, yet also slightly 
uninteresting, if that makes sense. Because, you know, at the end of the day, we were, we were finding things, but I guess being not 100%, at least for me, not being 100% sure what I'm looking at, um, probably uh, would, uh, would you'd have to say would would uh, have been a contributing factor um, because uh, you, you know you just you're looking for for artifacts you know and they look like regular stones or rocks but the the I guess the difference is between a, a, an artifact and just a regular stone is you know rounded edges and things things aren't quite as round and it's like you know how a rock looks naturally or if one looks manufactured it you know it, there are subtle differences so look we found we found a few it was sort of um you know it did go through the whole at least a mice for me um if i noticed or, or or saw a rock or something or a stone or whatever that looked um a bit different uh, a bit unusual in in regards to all the other ones i uh, sort of set that aside to seek expert opinions on it um but yeah, we, we did find uh, some artifacts. We found, uh, you know, the, the soil or the, the stuff we were finding was quite interesting. Some of it, it was good, interesting stone, etc. But it wasn't what we were after. Um, so that was, uh, yeah, that was that was interesting. Uh, <laughs> we did, <laughs> we did also find uh, a couple of pipes in one of the holes. We were digging one of the holes, and we 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 got down so far, and we could. There was something in the hole because the bottom of the the current uh, depth of the, the hole we had, like the bottom, one side was a different colour kind of thing than the other. So it was like, oh, there's something there. So we got a trowel out and had a look. Oh, and there was some metal pipes there. So we had, you know, we had a look at our, <laughs> consulted with our plans and, uh, you know, it failed to say that there was any utilities or anything like services uh, in, in this particular area. So like, okay. So we we informed somebody on the site, which then resulted in um, I don't know if the term meltdown is correct, but no, the, you know, about a thousand people came over to have a look. Nobody really knew what these pipes were for, and some guys like, oh, here's electricity up here, and but it wasn't because the pipe was leaking water. At least one of them. I mean, it wasn't le leaking electricity. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it was. It was. Uh, it was interesting. So the, the, it went for. Well, we we worked for nine days, and I think we dug about close to eighty pits. I don't think we quite got to eighty. Um, I think we might have done about 77, 78 or something like that. So we were hoping to do about 10 a day. Um, uh, and, you know, we, we had an area we, we sort of thought about 10-ish a day uh, and it was going to be for 10 days. But we, we there was an area we missed. We did skip a few areas because it was very close to a gravel road. So we dig and we just pretty much dig up road gravel. Um, and a few where in another area there was a bit of a um there was concern maybe of some toxic or sort of well not toxic but contaminated uh, contaminated uh ground so we skipped a few areas um and whatever else so you know we we, we dug i think it was about yeah about 80 holes uh over our nine days i think think it was if i remember correctly something like that so yeah so the archaeologist now his next step is uh, he's going to write a report um and uh, with suggestions uh, or recommendations to the client uh, about what to do uh, with them moving forward because I ha they're having a development uh in the area uh, well, th they're basically putting a fence up right um and it's gonna have a concrete footer and such and it's a known area for settlements uh, so we just pretty much dug the um, did pet pits along the uh, fence line. So yeah, it was as I said, unexcitingly interesting. Uh, that's for sure. Anyway, um, yeah, Archie digs, and uh, yeah. anyway, so we'll.
What am I going to do? Uh, yeah, wrap it up almost. Wait, I've got another story and then wrapping it up. Jeez. So, um, as some of you musos may know, ABBA have a new record or have a new, yeah, they have a new album out. Anyway, so I thought uh, for Christmas I might order me old mumsy the vinyl, the record of the new ABBA record album. That's the word I'm after. Anyway, <clears throat> so I went into one of the music shops in town uh, a couple of weeks ago, about two weeks ago now. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, I went in there, ordered it, paid for it. Fine. Now, it was supposed to be here on the 7th, no, on the 5th of November. Okay. Of course, I'm just here on the website of said store, it says November 5. Now, I got a call last week, and they were like, so your record, they're like, yep, uh, we don't know when it's going to be here because the distributor... Uh, doesn't have supply, so like it's it's going to turn up at some point, but we don't know like when. And I was just like, uh, I just sort of went okay. Um, I mean, whatever, it's fine. But you're <laughs> you're selling product that you can't get, which is uh, you know I understand. Uh, I understand that uh, some things are trickier to get uh, with, you know, world events and all that jazz, but uh, still, I was like, yeah, you're selling the stuff. Just, like, uh, yeah. Anyway, so I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do uh, in regards to that. I guess I'll just, uh, you know, whatever, Christmas um, will come, and I'll be like, oh, I don't, I, I mean, I bought you something, but oh, it's not here, so... There you go, yeah. So anyway, ordered ordered the record, paid for it. It was a, it was a pre-order, and uh, yeah, got a call, and they're like, "Oh, so it's it's we don't know when it's actually going to be here." <sighs> so I was like, "Okay, thanks." That's uh, how annoying. Anyway, let's wrap it up. Well, everybody, thank you very much for listening to this episode of the podcast. I tell you what, I'm sitting here, and it's actually I'm warm. Uh, it is warm outside, so I, I need to get a fan, or I don't know, take my shirt off probably. Yeah. Anyway, uh, summer's coming. Um, anyway, everybody, <laughs> thanks for listening, uh, and I will catch you next time.